Hello, welcome back to HWLRadio.com. You're here with your main man, Hollywood. And there you have it. Your Western Conference Finals champions are the Los Angeles Lakers. A big night. It was definitely a big night for sports. I was everywhere. I was at the Charlo Brothers fight. I was at a Don, a, a Donison, Israel, a Donison, whatever his name is. Like, man, and I was in the NBA. I was like, man. There's so much stuff going on, I couldn't even watch Power. So I would watch that tonight. We're going to do another two-episode review on it because we missed the last one. We had a couple business orders, so, you know, we mastering it. We done finally figure it out how to do, do the machine, so I'm ready for the announcement. But it ain't today because right now we are talking about the Los Angeles Lakers and how LeBron Goat James came up and showed out in not one, but both of the last minutes of the last two games in the Western Conference Finals. And like I said, Dwight Howard, how much better does that feel? To win the game, now you could do your backroom, locker room antics, and everybody could look at you and smile. But when you do the antics and the games are so dang on close, you almost lose and... You know, that stuff, like, it's kind of hard. And, you know, sometimes I go through the same shit. Like, I was there before. Like, that's that's why I tell people, the number one person you can't lie to is yourself, man. And when everybody else has a problem with you, you can't just keep going around and, like, this group got this same problem, this group got this same problem, this group got this same problem. Y'all all crazy. No. You're crazy, and you're maybe not crazy. You just haven't came to the fact that this is an issue, this is a problem, and you need to fix it. But when it is fixed, Dwight Howard rolled back the clock of time, man, and became back defensive. Look, he was on the bench, and y'all lucky he was. Because if he figured this out during the regular season, because right now I see a one-two punch with Anthony Davis and Dwight Howard that really can't be stopped. Because everybody's guarding and watching Anthony Davis trying to keep him out of the paint. Dwight Howard's on the other side. You got a dang near double team Anthony Davis, and all he got to do is lob it up to Dwight Howard. He's banging it in on anybody. So that there is something I seen and I would work on as a coach for this next series. Dwight Howard and Anthony Davis pick and rolling or whatever you got to do for them two to be dominant underneath the then going back basketball court rim. So I called the, the co-host. This nigga ain't woke no parts of the Lakers being the Western Conference Finals champions. And LeBron James going to his 10th NBA Finals in 11 years. 10th NBA Finals in 11 years. That there is a milestone in itself. There will be people in the future trying to duplicate this. Meaning that he's definitely on Mount Rushmore of NBA basketball. Furthermore, leading to my claim that he is the GOAT of basketball. He almost got the most triple doubles in the NBA playoffs. Lord forbid, whatever team come out the East, that is an easy team for him to get triple doubles on. Because he only needs three more to be number one. So he easily, and you know this, is going to be number one next year. So with that being said, LeBron James... Congratulations, you have just deaded the whole argument, but seal the deal. Go ahead and put the whole stamp on it and win that dang on ring. Because then you have a whole bunch of acclamations that Jordan can't say he got. And Jordan got some, a whole bunch of acclamations. That, no, well, he ain't got a whole bunch. He got some that you could say you don't have. But Jordan has a lot of explaining to do when it comes to why you ain't got this and why you ain't get this and why you ain't got that. The only thing y'all can say to LeBron James is why ain't you win all 10 times you went to the finals. Like, making it to the finals ain't hard as heck. Did you see what's going on? Do you see what happens when you fight to make it to the finals? And everybody knows that LeBron James, at least eight, eight out of them ten times, carried the team. Carried a team. Do you hear me? He carried a team. And the only reason that he wasn't 11 times in a row is because he got injured. So if that don't make you one of the greatest if no, that don't make you the greatest, then I don't know what does. And everybody like, Jordan had the killer mentality. Jordan had the killer mentality. LeBron James had 
the total package when he first came into the league. That's why all the weight was on his shoulders. He did not have the killer mentality, but he had something different. He had the GOAT gene, which makes him the GOAT. So I'm going to need everybody to pipe down and calm down about this Jordan. Jordan was an awesome scorer. Allen Iverson was an awesome scorer. Tim Hardaway was an awesome scorer. Paul Pierce, the truth, was an awesome scorer. Steph Curry is an awesome scorer. Kevin Durant is an awesome scorer. I don't want to disrespect the guy, but he from uh he plays on the Phoenix Suns. I know y'all know his name. He's an awesome scorer. But when you have a complete, complete, complete total player, that's what makes you the greatest of all times. The GOAT. And the crown goes to LeBron James. End of argument. End of the show. Like, share, subscribe. Share it with one of these dang gone LeBron James haters, the ones that try to discredit him from being the GOAT, and tell him to argue with these facts that I just stated. Because they can't. There is no argument. Tell Jordan to do that. Tell Jordan to add that to his resume. Right now, he can't. And if he even tried to come back, it would be Wizards Part 2, but worse. So, I mean, that boat has sailed. That boat it was a good boat. It was the Titanic, but you know it crashed. So now we have a new boat. This is the Titanic 2, and it ain't crashed yet. It happens to be just a little bit better. <laughs> it's everything that I'm out.